What is going on guys, this is RD and this is going to be a quick little tutorial on the Grief Prevention plugin. Uh, just for all you newbies out there that don't really understand it or don't understand how to use it, uh, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to use the actual plugin itself. Uh, these are going to be basic commands, so well, let's get started. We're going to start off with claiming land. All you need to do is right click one area and go to an opposing corner and then right click again and then boom, your claim is created. It's as simple as that, and if you want to worry about trusting people or things like that, we'll get into that. Uh, but this is just very basic. You have your land claimed. So let's now say we wanted to trust your buddy. Uh, go ahead and do slash trust and then the name of the player. And it's as simple as that. Now my RD Mustang X1 has permission to build in this claim. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now he has permission to build and destroy in the claim, so he could be able to build a house or build his house somewhere in your claim or something like that. But he's going to actually have permissions to actually add other people. That's another command. Uh, let's go ahead and get into that command. It's called permissions trust. So all you need to do is do slash permissions trust and then the player's name. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Slash permissions trust. And then RD Mustang X1. Oh, RD Mustang X1. Ah, come on. All right, there we go. Granted permission for RD Mustang X1 to manage permissions. So this would be uh, good if you were offline and your buddy was online and this you, this buddy you really trust and he wanted to trust his buddy, Donkey. So he would be able to trust his buddy and also untrust his buddy. So this would be good and this would also be bad because all the people that you actually have trusted on the list already, he would be able to untrust. So this would be someone that you would actually need to trust. Uh, let's go ahead and another command. It's trust list. So you stand inside your clan, run your claim, and you run this command, and it would show you all the people and all their permissions. So that's pretty cool too. So let's go ahead and go over some other things real quick. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, trust them only to containers inside of your house, so it'd be with, the command would be container trust. And then they would have permissions to anything that's uh, container related like a chest or something like that in your house. But they wouldn't have permission to build or destroy or manage other permissions. So let's go ahead and untrust RD Mustang X1. And every time you untrust it, you can also make sure that it's untrusted by running trust list. But uh, usually it's access. It's usually it's uh, untrusted after you uh, run it. So let's go ahead and jump into the access trust. Now access trust would be uh, if you wanted to trust people to use levers and doors in your house, but not actual chests or anything like that. So they would be able to flip doors open, they would be able to flip levers, press buttons, things like that, if you actually gave them access trust. So these are all different commands that you can actually use. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and see where your claim ends, you go ahead and right click it with the shovel. If you wanted to resize it, all you would need to do is right click the glowstone and then right click where you want it to go. But well, we don't have enough claim blocks, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll make the claim smaller. So right click this corner and right click where you want it to go and bam, it's claimed. So it's really simple. Uh, if you do understand English, uh, you would understand this tutorial, but that's basically it. Uh, if you wanted to actually check your claim, all you didn't do is have a stick and you just right click where you're interested to see if, if it was claimed or not. So if you want to claim a beach or something, and you wanted to make sure no one else claimed it before you actually pull out the shovel, you can do that. Um, this is Artie's claim. As you can see, I can't ride his horse. I can't hurt his horse, because it belongs to him. Uh, I can't break his grass, or his wheat, or his you know melons, or pumpkins, things like that, inside of his claim. And you can't... Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy. 
should have done this during the day, but you can't trample crops either. So they could bring themselves over here and try to cramp, uh, trample the crops. They can bring mobs over to try to trample them. Um, you can't open fence gates. You can't open buttons. You can't destroy things. You can't destroy glass. You can't destroy buildings. So overall, this is a good plugin, and if some the server has it that you're playing on, then you're pretty much in luck because they can't do anything inside of your claimed area. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and kill these zombies real quick. But as you can see, I can't build, I can't destroy because I'm not trusted in this claim. Because I'm on my Ronald McDonald account. So I'm not actually on the RD Mustang X1 account right now. So that's why I can't do anything in his account. In my account. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go inside. I have a home set inside just to show you all the different things. Okay, we're inside. Uh, let's say if the thief has actually managed to get inside some way of your claimed area of your house, uh, you notice that they can't access beacons, they can't access chests, so everything is pretty much secure. Uh, you can access the trap doors, but I think you can disable that in the config. Um, and access chests, can't access anything in here, as you can see. Can't access the enchantment table, even the uh, actual ender chest. And you can't access any of these um, furnaces. But the cool thing is, you can have like a little mailbox system with this. If you have a chest in your claimed area, and someone left clicks it twice, they donate whatever is inside of their hotbar inside of the chest. So this would be cool if you had like a little mailbox outside of your house and you had like a little sign saying how to do it, how to donate stuff to your chest. It would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and throw all this junk inside of here real quick. And as you can see, everything else is pretty locked up tight. Uh, this is just going to be the end of the tutorial though. Uh, if you hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like down below, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. What is going on guys, this is Artie again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down below if you liked it, comment down below wherever you're thinking. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, or you can just hit the subscribe button on the screen. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check out one of my random videos, it'll be a video of my choosing, go ahead and click random video on the screen. Uh, other than that, you can click hardcore episode two of galactic craft uh 1.5.2 uh, i hope you enjoyed the video enjoy the music and peace